In this video, we're going to learn how to sum the numbers in a list using recursion in Python. So for example, let's say we have a list numbers is equal to 413. The sum of the numbers in this list is going to be 8. Let's create a function to solve this problem using recursion. We'll call the function sum list, and the function is going to have a parameter LST for the list that's passed to the function as an argument. Now to solve the problem recursively, we'll have the function repeatedly call itself with a smaller version of the same problem to be solved. And with each function call, we'll solve part of the problem to be solved. So in the case of summing the numbers in a list, what we'll do is return the sum of the first number in the list given by list at the index zero, plus the sum of the remaining numbers in the list as given by calling the sum list function again with the remaining portion of the list. To get the remaining portion of the list, we'll use the slicing operator. We'll have here LST and then one colon. What this will do is give us the remaining portion of the list after the first item in the list. So if we call the sum list function and pass it our numbers list as an argument, the recursion is going to look like this. We'll have that sum list is called with the list four, one, and three. This is going to result in returning four which is the first item in the list, plus the return value of calling sum list with the remaining items in the list, which in our case is going to be one and three. So we'll have here four plus the return value of calling sum list with the list one and three. Then this call to sum list is going to result in returning one, which is the first item in the list, plus the return value of calling sum list with the remaining items in the list which this time is only going to be three. So we'll have here one plus the return value of calling sum list with the list three. Then this call to sum list is going to result in returning three, which is the first item in the list, plus the return value of calling sum list with the remaining items in the list, which this time is going to be none because the list is going to be empty. So we'll have here three plus the return value of calling sum list with the empty list. Now, eventually we do need the function to stop calling itself. We'll do that when the list is empty. We'll check for that with if not list. So this is going to be true if the list is empty. In that case, we're just going to return zero. Otherwise, we'll have an else case and we'll have the function call itself again to keep solving the problem. We call this case here where the function calls itself again, the recursive case or the recursive step. We call this case here where the function stops calling itself the base case or the base step. So if we look at what happens now, when the function returns zero after being called with the empty list as an argument, then this call to sum list here is going to involve three plus zero because this function call here is going to result in zero. So we'll have three plus zero gives us three. So then in this function call here, we'll have one plus three, which will give us four. So then in this function call here, we'll have four plus four gives us eight as the final return value. Let's test that. Down here, we'll output the return value of calling sum list with our numbers list. We'll save the program and try it out and we do get eight, which is correct. Now, notably, if we did have an empty list of numbers, the return value should be zero for the sum. So we'll save this and try it out. And we do get zero, which makes sense because there's no numbers in the list to sum. Now using recursion like this is good for learning about algorithms and for academic purposes, but we wouldn't want to use it in a real world project because it's not very efficient. So this is how we can sum the numbers in a list using recursion in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.